guys, this is Mary. You're watching Coffee and Cards on Cards TV. First of all, I want to apologize for being so far behind on getting all these wonderful cards on Coffee and Cards. I'm so very sorry, but I'm going to try to get them all caught up and show everybody these fantastic cards that y'all have been sending in. These first cards are from my good friend Melissa, and Melissa's blog is Melissa mocreations.blogspot.com and Melissa is one of the new design team members on the Cards TV design team. She's also on the Cricut Cards Challenge design team and she makes some awesome cards guys. Make sure you go by her blog and check them out. But she sent me these for Halloween and they are just adorable. I love them. This one, I think she cut the shape of the card from Birthday Bash. I'm pretty sure that's where it is. But she took the time to do all this wonderful stitching around everything. And look at this adorable owl. And I love his little Google eyes. <laughs> He's so cute. And then she used some white ink and she stamped Happy Halloween inside. And look how well she did that. It shows through on the front. And there it is on the inside. Great card, Melissa. Thank you so much. I love this. Love Halloween cards. And Melissa knows that, so that's why she sent these. But I just love these. I'm not sure where this little house card came from. Which cartridge? I know, I think the cat and the bat came from maybe Paper Doll Dress Up. I'm not sure on that one, but I love this little card. It looks like a spooky little house, and look, there's some Google eyes up in this window peering out at me. Ooh. She's added lots of stitching on here, too. Melissa goes to a lot of trouble with her cards. She does lots of detail. Thanks, Melissa. I love these cards. This next adorable but spooky card is from my friend Shonda, who lives out in... Uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is so cute and there's so much detail to this card and there's a lot to show you. She stamped a haunting we will go down here and look at these little Google eyes peeking out from the fence. Love this little witch you've colored too. She's got a smile on her face so she's a happy little witch. And over here we've got some creepy spiders. Whew. And this has a little uh, turn on there to hold it close because look at this guys inside there's some more fence and she's got from Shonda and look look at this spooky witch this opens as well isn't that neat and here's some more of the fence it says to Mary inside she stamped happy Halloween and I love these little uh, kids dressed up in their costumes what a cute stamp love that and you can see when you close it, A Haunting We Will Go shows at the bottom. And then here's these cute little kids and Happy Halloween. And up here's a moon with another witch stamped on it. Now watch guys, that's not all there is to this card. It also opens this way. And inside you can write a sentiment. And down here she's cut some uh, Halloween paper and added some glitter to the inside of this jack-o'-lantern so it looks like he's glowing from the inside and added some pretty little green ribbon. I love this card. I don't know what you call this fold but it's really neat, really special. Love this Shonda and you've added so much detail. Can you see all the glitter she's added back in here? You took a lot of time and trouble on this, and I appreciate you sending it in so much. This beautiful, beautiful card with the pumpkins and the Indian corn and the flowers on it is from my friend Lois. And inside this card, Lois wrote me a note, and she sent this adorable little uh, cutout purse. She uses a Sizzix die for these. Isn't that cute? You could put a gift card in here. And she said she sends these inside of the girly cards that she makes. And look, guys. Oh, my goodness, Lois. She sent me all these. She cut these out for me so that I've got some to stick in with my cards as well. I love this idea, Lois. And these are going to be so cute. Thank you very, very much. But that's not all Lois has sent in. Lois is a very crafty lady. She sent two cards. This one is a Halloween card. And look, 
she even lined the inside of the envelope. Look at that. It's got all this cute and creepy spider web paper with all these little spiders. But look, they've got little hearts on their backs. Very cute. And here is the card that goes in that envelope. Look at these little ghosts. They're cute and spooky all at the same time. But she's used some black glitter paper. I love that. And up here we've got the word boo. And she's added, instead of Google eyes, Lois has added rhinestones for eyes. What a cute idea. And they're sparkly. And down here she's used a drippy goo punch and put it on the bottom so that it looks like the little ghosts uh, have a, not a fringed bottom. I don't know what you'd call that. Anyway, they're coming up from the drippy goo. I love these little ghosts. They're so cute. And then on the inside, she's got some more of the drippy goo and too cute to spook. Happy Halloween. What a cute card, Lois. And she's added some pretty black organza ribbon over here on the side. I love this card. It's just adorable. Thank you, Lois. And Lois also sent in a card for Thanksgiving. And she's also lined this envelope. Isn't that pretty? It looks like a big leaf. And here's all the veins. And the leaf has uh, turned orange. And it's dried and crackled. I love that paper. So pretty. And look at this beautiful, beautiful card. She's cut leaves out with this bronze paper. And then some patterned paper. Oh, I love this one up here. And it's got veins on it, just like a real leaf. And these down here, she's embossed. There's so much texture and so much pretty color to this card. Love this button you've attached. And look how she's got the little ends of it hanging down with knots in it. That's an awesome idea. I love that. And here she's got a mat and stamped, so thankful for you love this background paper as well. It's got all these pretty leaves and all the different colors. And there's a pumpkin. And look at this ribbon. That ribbon is just gorgeous. It's orange, but it's got lots of kind of gold running through it. It's so sparkly and pretty. And right here she's added some bling next to this leaf. And on the inside, she stamped Happy Thanksgiving, and look at the texture. Oh my goodness, I love this embossing folder, Lois. You're going to have to write and tell me what this folder is. I love that. It's got all these leaves on here. Great texture. And here she's put some leaves up here and some more bling. What a beautiful card. Thank you so very much, Lois. I just love your cards. Lois is so crafty. And she's always sending such beautiful things to me. And I appreciate it. And thank you so very much, Lois. This beautiful fall card is from my good friend, Sherry, who lives in Ohio. Love, love, love this card, Sherry. It's so pretty. And she's used all these fall papers from the Die Cuts with a View mat stack called Harvest Gathering. And she has cut them in strips. And look at all the texture and color and design that you get by doing that. I love this, Sherry. It's so pretty. Love this right here, too. This is some ribbon with some little sunflowers on there, and it's got some stitching down it. This sunflower is from Walk in My Garden, and she's added some glitter to this orange paper, and that just really makes it pop. It just jumps right off the card. It's so pretty. And then she's got some glitter in the center, and she's added some glitter to the veins of the flower. There's just so much to see on this card. It's just so beautiful, Sherry. And Sherry has a blog, guys, and I'm going to give you a link to it. So you can go over and check out the other things that she's made. She's a very, very talented, crafty lady, and I know she's got some other awesome things for you to go over and take a look at. But I just love the way you've layered these strips on here. You can see there's some trees and leaves and all these different colors. There's stripes with orange and brown and yellow and marigold. Down here there's some little acorns. Just so much to see and so much to love on this card. Thank you so very much, Sherry. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this gorgeous card. 
Look at this butterfly. That is so very beautiful. There's so much detail on it. There's glitter. It looks like it's been painted. Oh my goodness. This is from my good friend Joanne who lives in Ontario. I love this card, Joanne. It's so very beautiful. I love the colors you've used. She's got this beautiful, mostly blue butterfly, but then there's pink and lime green and white. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. And over here, Joanne has added some bling. And down here, she's got uh, cutouts of more butterflies on this darker purple paper. Love this silver ribbon you've added and down here she's punched a border that looks like the threading water punch I think that is and it says hello and on the inside just passing by with a friendly hi and here's some more uh, green border with that threading water punch I love that I love this mat too wow and it stands up it's it's thick so there's a lot of texture on this card this is just gorgeous, Joanne. Thank you so very much. Joanne also sent me a little gift. And I bet you guys don't know what this is, or maybe you do. Joanne said she was watching uh, Gina Kay over at Stamp TV, and Gina was using a bow maker. So Joanne figured out how to make one, and this is the one that she made. And she used an ice cream carton to do it, and it's kind of like a soft pliable plastic. I can't wait to figure out how to use this. She's given me a link to where I can go over to uh, YouTube and watch the video that I guess uh, Gina made showing how to use this. What a neat idea and you are such a crafty lady Joanne to figure this out and I'll be using this soon. Thanks again Joanne. I want to say a big thank you to Melissa Joanne, Sherry, Shonda, and Lois for sending in these wonderful, wonderful cards. And I want to apologize again for not getting them on sooner, guys. Thank you so much. They're wonderful, and I love them all, and I love sharing them with everybody. Now, if you'd like to have your card featured on Coffee and Cards, just send it to Mary at Post Office Box 426, Georgetown, Kentucky, 40324. And I'll try my best not to be so long in getting them on, guys. I'm really sorry about that. Now, there's lots more cards I have to show you guys. So be watching for another Coffee and Cards in just a few days. Because i got lots more I want to share with you. But thanks again to everyone. And I'll see you again really soon. Bye now.